All right there, Latin 1, uh, we have chapter 26. Probably going to end up breaking it into two parts uh, just because it's so dang long. Although a lot of it is um, dialogue, so perhaps not. We will see. Anyway, listen for the tenses. Uh, everything should be coming together at this point. Okay, So Eucleides and the boys uh, had already returned home. Uh, after dinner, Cornelius and Marcus and Sextus were sitting in the atrium. Uh, what did y'all see today, boys, says Cornelius. Uh, nothing except for uh, ancient buildings, responded Marcus. Uh, we uh, want... Uh, wolo, 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 we, yeah, we were wanting... Uh, no, we want... Sorry, that's present tense. That one always gets me. Uh, we want to go out alone into the city. Uh, why is it not allowed? To which Cornelius said... Uh, it is dangerous without a guard to go out into the uh, streets of this city. Uh, there are many wicked men who steal uh, or who snatch the goods of citizens. Now, the goods is a direct object. They do not snatch things from good citizens. It's bona is a direct object. It's uh, neuter plural. Uh, kiwium is a genitive plural. Those are not the same uh, case. Therefore, that is not modifying them. Uh, non numquam, which is one of my favorite words. It means sometimes, not never. Uh, sometimes these men or these people uh, kill the citizens themselves. Uh, therefore, it is not allowed for you all to go out without a guard. Uh, it is late now. Now it is necessary for you all to go to bed. Uh, do not delay, but go immediately. Uh, the boys, uh, tired from the work of the day, there's a fifth declension noun there, uh, as soon as they went to bed, they fell asleep. Uh, on the following day, early in the morning, Marcus uh, was laying back in his bed and uh, was thinking thus about the Circus Maximus. How many, uh, or when, will we visit the Circus Maximus? Why does, pa why does my father uh, forbid us to go out? Uh, yesterday, uh, I saw no wicked men in the city. Uh, during the day, certainly robbers will not harm us. Now, nokeo nokere takes a dative. So it translates as will not harm us, but if you want, you could say will not do harm to us. So you recognize the dative there. Uh, robbers fear my father uh, because he is a Roman senator. Uh, there is nothing of danger. So the classic case of the rich kid going, do you know who my dad is? Uh, and, and the, the real question he should have been asking is, do I know who my sister is? In a short time, as it seemed to Marcus, uh, we debatur, uh, yeah, as, uh, it, it's, uh, you'll learn it next year, but here it means seemed. As it seemed to Marcus, or as it was seeming to Marcus, uh, the boys, uh, were going to the circus. Uh, soon... Uh, they spotted the huge uh, mass of the Circus Maximus. Oh, I'm sorry, soon Marcus spotted the huge mass of the Circus Maximus. Behold, shouted Marcus, it is the circus. When we will have entered, uh, at last we will see uh, the chariots themselves. Okay. Now take a look there as well. You'll notice when we will have is future perfect, and then we will do this thing. Suddenly, however... Uh, three men hurled themselves into the street. Uh, be careful, those men, shouted Sextus. They certainly, those guys certainly, uh, will drag us into uh, the nearby houses and they will kill us there. That's really kind of pearl clutchy, like the, you know, you grab your purse a little tighter when you're going uh, past some certain people. Um, but okay, uh, interesting, uh, but you know, again, he's just a small town boy, uh, living in a lonely world, um, but in vain for Marcus, upset by fear, frozen by fear, uh, moved by fear. Um, after he heard Sextus shouting, uh, he fell to the ground and was laying in the mud immobile. So Marcus apparently is a fainting goat. Uh, hey, shouted one of the robbers. Uh, where are you going, little one? Uh, what is your name? Or what is, yeah, what is your name? Aren't you the son of a senator? So they don't, do know who his dad is. Uh, isn't your name Marcus Cornelius? Now, how would they know that unless 
They had been told who to look out for by Cornelia. To which Marcus said, uh, what do you all want, wicked ones? Uh, I have no money. So I'm, I'm curious as to whether or not Marcus is still, um, uh, if he's still laying in the mud or not. Uh, but what do you all want? I have nothing of money. Uh, do not beat me. Uh, if you will have done harm to me, uh, my father certainly will punish you. Uh, but the robber interrupted, be quiet, boy. You are a captive, uh, and, uh, your father will not return, or, and you will not return to your father. Uh, now no one will be able to save you. Uh, for I will kill you myself. Then the, uh, the robber, the bandit, drew a sword. Sextus was standing, terrified, and shouting, Bring help! Bring help! Uh, which, if you remember, he also climbed up a tree. Uh, but nobody uh, heard his shouting. Nobody brought help. Marcus closed his eyes and awaited death. Nothing happened. He opened his eyes. He was in his own bed. Uh, it had all been a dream. Today, however, uh, Marcus decided to remain at home. He did not want to go out. Now, in fairness, the Romans did believe that the gods would give you visions uh, in your dreams. So uh, it's not just that he got the heebie-jeebies, it's that he saw that this was a vision. So, as it turns out, Cornelia did not hire them to be killed just yet. Uh, take a look at exercise 26b. Uh, it's a pretty good one about the differences between this and that because that's a lot of what was going on there. Uh, and 26C, good idea to do as well. Uh, the odd numbers, you should do this. The even numbers, you should do that. Uh, 26D is not a bad one either, uh, just for the extra English to Latin practice. Uh, when we reconvene, it'll be 26E. I'll translate that one out loud for you. Uh, and then we'll be into the final chapter in the review. All right, I'm going to hit the button.